Hey folks, today a tutorial on minimizing layer lines on curved surfaces. You know, when I first printed this Alien, I was super excited because the layer lines came out fantastic. I printed it without supports, but the crown ends up with this mark, these marks on the top, and that bugs me. I'm shooting for perfection, but I realize it's still 3D printing, you know? So. So if you want to find out how I did it, stick around. But in the meantime, if you want to improve the quality of your prints, then hit that subscribe button. Okay, so as you can see, I did a fair bit of experimenting and I was experimenting with adaptive layers in Cura. And I was really excited about the results that I was getting on these, except for the fact that I kept on ending up with these pinholes in the top. And that bugged me just as much as the rings around the top of the skull did. So I ditched that. And I went in and I used Cura with adaptive layers using the default settings and I managed to improve the top of the skull on the default settings and then I went and I adjusted them just a little bit more. I'll show you how to do that in Cura. There's a bonus that I discovered while doing this. And if you'll stick around till the end, I will share that surprise bonus that I discovered. It really helps me out if you watch the video until the very end. So, but let's get into Cura and I'll show you those settings. All right, so you can see that I've got Cura open already and I've already got our little alien friend open, but I'm going to scale him because the original bust that I printed was, I believe it was 250% bigger. And I, of course, did it proportionally. And the testing that I did, I only wanted to test the skull so I'm going to drop him down 250 millimeters so now all we're going to be printing is the top of his skull and I would do a small test print here before we, I would print the complete alien to make sure that I get the results that I'm looking for here so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slice him with default settings so that you can see exactly what I was working with. So pop over to the preview up the top there. I look and I can see that's what the top of the skull looked like in the image that's in the thumbnail and that you saw already in the video. But because I'm not going to remember what that's like, I use the snipping tool. Uh, sorry. I use the snipping tool to grab a screenshot of this so that I'll be able to have that image open and available on the side to compare. So this is without using adaptive layers. This is just the default settings for Cura that I typically use. And now I will go and I will add adaptive layers. I love the search bar in Cura because it allows you to quickly and easily look up what it is that you're looking for. So there's the adaptive layers. I'm going to click it. Here are the default settings. I'm going to go ahead and slice that just as is. And then I will show you that's the default. This is adjusting the layer height to try to smooth out the curve. But let's have a look how it compares to the default. The rings are a little closer together and a little tighter uh, here. I test printed this and it is an improvement, but not as good as once I went and modified a few of these. And I will show you what those modifications are. So I'm going to grab a fresh screenshot of the default settings so that we'll compare it to the adjustments that I'm about to made, make. So there you have the screenshot. I come over and adaptive layers maximum variation is basically the difference that it's going to allow of any of the layers from the original. If you go to the next one, the variation step size. So this is the difference from step one to step two to step three to step four, etc. And then the last one here is the distance that we're targeting between each layer height. So the smaller the number that is there, the finer the steps will be. So now I'm going to show you the adjustments that I made and tested was 0.1 and that's pretty big but it seemed to have worked out well and I'm encouraging you to test this out for yourself. So I did not change this setting here, the adaptive layers variation uh, step size. I left that alone, but over here, I really made it a lot smaller. So I ended up with much finer results. So I slice 
Now we're going to look at the top of the skull. And there you have it. And I'm going to pull up the uh, screenshot that I've taken. And you're going to see that the centerpiece is a lot smaller. So you can also see that the lines are tighter together. So I tested out both of these and this did indeed come out a lot smoother as you saw in the video. Now stick around and I'm going to share with you the surprise that I got out of testing this. So the surprise discovery that I made is that the Z seam is much less visible and it's a lot smoother to the touch as well. So that was a really pleasant surprise that I encountered. And if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments. In the meantime, if you're curious about how to be able to set your Z offset faster, check out this video right here.